Hey everyone, Coach Phillips here, offering you a little soccer challenge for today. So grab a soccer ball, whatever your soccer skill level is, and join me for this 30 second competition, all right? So the first thing I want you to do is just practice your juggling skills. We're gonna start on our thighs and go down to our feet. All you need to do with your thighs, we're gonna bounce it off this meaty part with the idea that it goes right back up. So you can just kind of start going one to one. Once you get a little comfortable there, go to two, and then start just increasing your numbers. 30 seconds, ready? set here we go so this is where i just kind of start just nice and easy one touch and then you can start kind of adding to it as you go okay try to keep your number going see what you can get it's hard to talk and do it at the same time just up and down whoops i snuck my foot in there up so you want a good little start and you're just going up and down so maybe all you can do is one right now that is perfectly fine you get the rhythm and you add on as you go a couple more seconds where can you go? Where can you go? And time. What was your number? Same idea with the juggling challenge, but now we're going to go to our feet. I'm not as good at this as I am with my thighs, and I wasn't that good on my thighs. But all you're going to do for that is just kind of knock it up. And when you knock it up, you want it to angle it coming back at you. Okay? Some people can keep it real low and do it low. I was never great at that, but let's see what we can do. 30 seconds. Ready? Go. So again, you just do a couple, get them going. I've got one student at school that can get in the thousands. Obviously, that's not me. Just do what you can do. There's always room for improvement. And if nothing else, we're just having some fun here. Woo! Oh, man. I'm back. Ah, this is never my forte here. And time. Oh, boy. So now we're taking the challenges down to the ground and we're gonna talk about just toe touches. You're just tapping on top of the ball not putting any weight on the ball, but just tapping and keeping it in place. Three, two, go. And we're tapping, tapping, tapping. See how there's no weight being put on top of the ball? Uh, we're just tapping on there and maybe redirecting it, maybe bringing it back a little bit as you need to, to kind of realign it to where you need to be. Um, just keep tapping. Nice little touches. You can add a forward tap challenge or a backward tap challenge if you want to increase the intensity a little bit. We're just going up and down. This used to be a skill that I used to do all the time when I was younger. Get ready to stop in three, two, one. Good job. The next thing we're gonna do is just foundation, just the back and forth. It's basically the idea of passing the ball back and forth to yourself, just keeping it right underneath you. You wanna make sure you stay down, um, stay on your toes a little bit so that you have that quick movement. All right, get ready to go and go. Challenge starts, 30 seconds. So it's, it's, you gotta keep it nice and under control. It's harder on the, on the concrete that I'm doing it on. Our grass was uh, very lush and plush today, so it's gonna be even harder doing it on the grass. So just knock it back and forth. If you need to slow it down a little bit, that is perfectly fine. Maybe you have more of a beginner so soccer player there with you. Just knock it back and forth at whatever pace that you can maintain that control. So keep knocking it a couple more seconds and time. Excellent job. So this next challenge is similar to foundation, but you're gonna add a little triangle component. So with one foot, I'm gonna knock it up, then I'm gonna pull it back and cross it over with the opposite foot. So all you're doing is going up, crisscross, up, crisscross. And the time was started, so I hope you joined in too. Up, crisscross, up, crisscross, up, crisscross. Slow it down if you need to. Again, as always, rather you be under control than fast and crazy and out of control. But just a nice little pass to yourself up and then you crisscross it, bringing it back. Up and crisscross. Good job. And time. Now we're going to go to the other foot. So get familiar with it again. The foot that was crisscrossing is now passing up. Go. So again, it's nice under control. Maybe one direction is a little bit better for you than the other direction and that is fine, that's kind of normal. Uh, the idea is that you just keep practicing and getting it, your control a little bit better as you go time and time and time again. Get ready to stop in three, two, one, time. Good job. The next activity, we're just going to do a foundation, foundation, and then a pullback and 90 degree twist. So we're only gonna go one direction, we will do it the other direction here in a minute after this 30 second challenge. So get ready to go, 
and begin. So I like to try to do three foundation touches and then a pullback. Sometimes if I get off kilter, I add in a few more, but try to have those angles that you go to. So I've got my four directions pretty easily established on the sidewalk here, but try to make those four directions. Slow it down if you need to. Again, it's a quick feat. Try to stay on your toes to be able to adjust. Oops, just lost the ball there. Bring it back, bring it back, get right back into it. If you mess up, that is perfectly fine. Bring it back in, join back in. We're gonna be stopping in just a few seconds here. So get a few more in right before the time runs out. Good job, time. So now we're gonna go the other direction. So get familiar with it and we'll jump right in here in just a second. Ready and go. So it's three foundations, pull back, three foundations, pull back. And again, you're trying to stay on your toes while you do this. So you're always ready to adapt and change into whatever needs to be adjusted to maintain that control. I slowed it down a little bit. If you have beginner soccer players, that's where you might need to start. And that is fine. Just as they get more and more comfortable, then they start increasing their um, speed and their adjustment as they go. Get ready to stop in three, two, one and time excellent job all right this next activity needs no ball all you're going to do is do a shuffle shuffle down all right so here we go 30 seconds beginning now maybe you just find two leaves outside or maybe you find some cracks like what i did maybe you find um maybe you have cones inside and that's great too all you need to do is do a shuffle shuffle and tap down i like to touch the ground because for me that makes sure that i am getting down as far as i need to to have um proper defensive stance so defenders playing soccer obviously need a lot of shuffling we're almost done come on get a couple more in quicker 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 move those feet three two one and time excellent job now the same idea we're just going forward and back again a lot of adjustment in soccer even if you're a midfielder going up to the ball ready three two one go so if you're going up you got to jockey a lot as you're defending a player so again just back and forth try to use alternating starting feet so that you're not always taking off on the same foot that really helps with it if you want to go all the way down and tap the ground you can certainly add that in it just is an extra level if you want to increase your level so it's about how quick your feet can move um, how, how quickly you can adjust so this is all again just about the quick feet try to stay on your toes if you can as you're doing this and time this next move is probably the trickiest one I'm going to present to you. It's a foundation, then you pull it back under your body and roll over. You pull it under your body and roll over. Get ready to start. This is tricky. Be patient with yourself. And go. Foundation, pull it under, pass it over. Good job. And you pull it under. I'm going to mess up several times here and roll it over. Good. So I'm pulling it under my body with my right foot and then rolling it using my left foot outward. Okay, and then I would do it similarly. I'd pull it under my body with my right foot and then rolling it outward with my right foot. Under left, outward right, under right, outward left. Keep going, stay, stay confident, you can do it. I know it's tricky. The ball might get moving a little bit. It might be hard for you to see what I'm doing too, but that's all it is. Pull under and pass under and then roll it away with your opposing foot and time. Last skill here, which is going to be a push out and cut in, push out and cut in, push out and cut in. All right, and here we go and begin. Good. So you're just pushing out twice and then cutting back in, pushing out twice and cutting back in. You can obviously do this around cones if you want to do a little cone line out in the grass and, and get yourself moving. But uh, this is just a nice little side to side movement to kind of keep your fast feet. And you want to stay, like I've been saying, you want to stay on your toes as you're doing it the whole time through. Just a pass, pass out, pass, pass out, kind of a ball control, get around your defender. Good job, get ready to time, good job. So I'm no, I know I'm no Carly Lloyd and I know I'm no Alex Morgan, but I got a few skills still in my back pocket. Maybe I should come out here and practice more often. Maybe I will, now that we have some free time. Maybe you learned a few things. Maybe you got a little bit better. Keep coming back here, keep practicing, and I promise you'll improve.